Hey guys, how are you doing? So today I thought I'd do uh, just a little short tech tip kind of thing just to show you the difference between uh, 350Z diff and axles and the normal ones that you get in an S14. So my uh, beast here is, it's running a 3.9 rear diff at the moment, but I've been snapping some axles in it before we just doubled the horsepower in it. So I've I would a way of being able to get some uh, stronger axles in it and then I also wanted to change the diff ratio. I wanted it to be a, a longer diff uh, so I've got sort of more, I can use a torque in the V8 and I can run one gear, you know, for longer. Um, I can use, a, I'll, I'll basically it gives me like a longer uh, mile an hour that I can run because the third gear in the 3.9 let's say would only do like uh from like oh, it would do it would maybe max out at like i don't know 68 mile an hour but now it's going to be able to run out i'll be able to run it out to like 75 or something like that so it gives me more more uh a a wider range to work in. So I'll uh, just show you the discs and we can just compare sizes and see if like this kind of video might be useful to some people that are just sizing some stuff up. So, right, here we go. So here on the left hand side is a 350 diff and here on the right hand side is a S14 diff. So you can kind of see there just if we look down here, they are kind of roughly about the same height. The way they sit is different though. Look at the sort of difference between where the center point of the axle is in comparison to the 350 one. It's a lot higher up. On the 350 one, the center point of this uh, axle and the point in which it goes into the subframe, so there's about 10 mil difference, it's 10 mil bigger difference than it is between this one, uh, so I, re I was roughly reckon there was like about 45 mil between the center point of there and there and about 55 on that one. Uh, what you get though with your, so I've got some GK Tech uh, parts to uh, fit mine, so these offset bushings will position the, this diff in the correct position for sitting in the subframe, but I had a different video putting all that in. This is just to kind of, give you an idea of the different sizes. So the other thing you'll notice is this diff, uh, the S14 one, is a lot longer. So it's kind of a bit stumpy this one, so I'll just check the measurements. So this is a wee bit of a surprise. Uh, so I've taken a measurement from the front of here, so that'll be the point that your drive shaft from your gearbox comes in, up to the point that will be in the back of the subframe. So, see that's coming in, 41, so kind of lined it up. I know this isn't like really, really accurate, but that's like 41 millimeters. And I thought this one was longer, but it, it, it is a longer diff, but it's mainly because of this bit at the back here. We've got this kind of little extra kind of cooler bit. So uh, that's what's making it a bit longer. But when you measure from here, uh, right to the front, it's the same distance. So here's the distance in that one again. It's uh, about 41 mils, so that's from there, all the way up and lining up with that sort of back end that goes into the subframe. Having a wee look around them, um, there's, oh, get out of the way. You've got, there's a lot more stuff in the back of the S14 one. Now, I'm pretty sure these are temperature sensors, I remember. And then you also had uh, a cooler that you used to run, I used to run on my 14 as well. The 350Z one has really got nothing. It's got a breather. Um, and that's really about it. Uh, I'm not too sure what how much they each hold, but if somebody wants to stick that in the comments, say no, please do. The other thing is speed sensors. So you've got a trigger wheel on here and you can have one, I'm guessing this is for ABS, they had one on each side so they could tell if what, what wheel was doing what. Uh, on the S14 one, your speed sensor, I believe, that was the one up here, so it was taken off there. 
Here is them both the center line uh, of each axe, so going through. Uh, just to see where the, where it sits now, as you can see, this, if I line this up here, bang on flat in the center of there. You got a gap of, I don't know, 10, 15 mil there. There you go. So, yeah, about 14 mil difference. For attaching the S14 drive shaft, it means you're gonna to have to re-drill. So this is the S14 one. This is a 350Z one. Now, it means you're gonna to have to re-drill this, but there's loads of material in here, so you can. So on the S14 one, it is, we're sitting at about, um, that's two millimeters, because we live in the real world. So that's 80 mil, center to center. Over here, you are, oh, what are we? 95 millimeter, or roughly. You got loads of material in here, so you can easily really drill that slightly, slightly smaller and just offset it. So before I open them both up and show you the internals, this is the big point that you get the strength upgrade. And there's a couple of things that are, I've noticed, you know, might make the 350 better or more a bit more serviceable. You've still got a six bolt thing, but you've got it here and here. So it's two bolts here, whereas on the 350, it's all kind of spaced out. Now, um, I have, this is how I've been breaking shafts before. So the shaft stays fine. The shaft does not break, but it's the cups that do. Now, if you look at this cup, you can see, um, like it has basically these three, right, here we go. So this is what goes into your drive shaft. And that, so you've got three points of engagement. Those three balls. Now, they here seem to just rip this bit, which is on the end of the drive shaft. This rips out and breaks. And that seems to be the failure point. Now, the reason the 350 ones are different is they've got a six ball uh, configuration. See, there's no dip in it like there is here. So there's six balls in a raising. I've got a picture on my phone. So this is your... This is what you would have on the normal 350, or no, the normal S14 one. And then this is what you have inside the 350Z one. So you've got six points of contact instead of the three, which you'd spread the load. And I'm hoping that's what makes it better. But the other, the other thing that I've noticed that is better about the 350Z ones is, so if you're in the middle, if you're trying to swap a drive shaft out, this bit's a bit of a pain in the ass because it means once you've got the bolts out, you still have to compress the drive shaft to get that bit that is, when it's stuck in here, and then you've got to get, kind of pull it out and that can be a bit tight. Whereas your 350Z one, uh, will just slide straight out. So I think that, that hopefully that's a bit of a benefit too. If you look at just the size of the shafts, now they're pretty much the same. So you get two long ones and two, sh well, you get a long one and a short one. Um, the I there is barely anything in it. The splines are the same on the 350s and the, the S14 ones. Uh, but there is a slight difference in the diameter. So, so I've got work out here is that looking at that there, we're at 30 mil, and then on the S14 one, it's slightly smaller. So we're down at about it's about 28 mil there. The S14 ones will be slightly weaker. I, I don't know how much, but there must be something in that. So this is both of the diffs, 14 here, 350 there. Um, now, I believe they're both R200 diffs, and the reason I believe that is because this ring gear 
is the same size in both. So that's 200, which I believe is why uh, a why a diff is called is R200, and it's the same again over this side. 200 mil. They both have 10 bolts holding them on. You know they're really really similar. Um, so I think like that pretty much same. This is a bit beefier in here. The diameter of this bit here. Um, you can get a bit more light in there. The diameter in there was a bit of splatter all over that one. Uh, it's thicker than the S14 one. This is the same size between here and here on both. Um, so I think this is a bit beefier internals, but like the gearing is not is not. I think that's the same. I literally think you can probably unbolt that and bolt it onto there. But I'm guessing the the ring and the pin. I, th I think is that called pinion you? I don't know. Uh, I'm making things up. That'll be that'll probably be slightly different. I'll just check the distance to see if you can. So if I take measuring tape right down in here and hook it onto the bottom of that ring in, of that pinion gear, which we're calling it because we don't know what it is, and then hold that. It works out about 21 mil. And it's the same on this one. So they seem like it seems like the gears are are the same. Um, see in there. Let's get some light on there for you. Nice. And then over this one. I'm not pulling these apart to find out if they go back together because both of these work and I just want to flog it. But it does seem that you could take the internals and swap them around and have uh, different ratios. I'm sure it's not that easy, but hey, uh, points that they are like this, it points that they are the kind of same kind of strength as far as the gears go on them. So if you were blowing up, 351s and you probably need to go for like a a bigger you know it's that's not the weak point on the 350 on the 200 anyway on the s14s so i'm hoping my weak point is now not going to be moved to here but i will find out I think the last bit really for you to see is these are the internals of both so this is the 351 way simpler uh, you've got all the, there's loads of baffling and stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure that was for the pump and the, uh, the 200 one. And honestly, flip them both over. So you only have the one, one mounting point for the 351, whereas the two on the, on the 14. But you just, when you put these in, you only use the, you only use that one, uh, when you put that into the 14. So don't need to have the two. Um, and the other thing I think I'd notice, I would say, is that because they're, they, because they didn't have any kind of cooler on this, uh, on, on this diff, whereas this one used to run out through an actual cooler, there's loads more fins. Like, check the fit amount of fins that are on it. Um, so I think that means it, that it's going to sit a bit lower in the car. So uh, hopefully that doesn't make it a little bit of a, make it ground out a wee bit, because we've got this little stubby bit on there. So I wonder if that's going to stay on. That's that tech tip done. Uh, just a wee comparison. Um, hopefully of interest to some years if you are doing conversions and just needed to like get sizes of things without having to go out and find a diff and measure stuff up. Um, if you guys are liking these, do the like, share and subscribe thing. Any more comments for anything else you'd like to see? Uh, there's plenty of S14, SR and other broken stuff around here if you want to see some comparisons of stuff. Uh, and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.